Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be showing off the new XOR sisters. So what does this archetype excel at? Well, they are all about actually banishing. In fact, one of their greatest matchups is actually Eldritch. The reason why their deck is so anti-Eldritch or anything that really revolves around the graveyard is because they're, well, they're exorcists, so it's like actually perfect for them. So how it works is if your opponent moves a card out of their graveyard except during the damage step, you get to special summon from your extra deck and exorcist her uh, exceeds monster using this face-up card you control as material. A lot of times they will go for the uh, Mikalius over here. This card has the effect where um, as long as you, of course, go for it, well, it's gonna have another attachment because you exceed summon it using that card. Um, as long as you use an exorcist by using this card as material, as a quick fit, you can target one card uh, your opponent controls or in the graveyard and actually banish it. You attach a material from this card and you can add one extra sister spell slash uh, trap from your deck to your hand. But most of the time, uh, we're going to be seeing this card again and again. It's one of like their better cards, especially up against the Eldritch matchup because yeah, banishing the Golden Lord is kind of key because a lot of their cards need the Golden Boy in order to do most of their effects. So it is um, a deck where you can actually play a little bit slower or you can play a little bit faster and I'll show you guys more aggressive ways to play it. So this one, courtesy of a player over here, has build is really good against like this Eldritch matchup right now because again Eldritch is a deck that needs to banish but every time he banishes well he's going to go ahead and let the other person exceed. The other play kind of needs to do this and that's kind of how the extra sisters can win uh, by your opponent moving stuff. Now what if your opponent doesn't really do that and you want to play a little bit faster? Well this duel over here a against Prank Kids uh, is going to be a little bit more of a faster duel and I'll also give you guys a deck profile for the extra sisters. Uh, they're probably going to get a few more support cards uh, as of right now. Uh, the deck is still pretty solid to play on its own. So um, they do also have spell and trap support. We'll get into that in this video over here. So during the main phase, you pay uh, 800 life points. It is a quick play to add an extra sister card from your deck to your hand except for itself. And then uh, if you added a monster, you can special summon it if the other uh, extra sisters monsters mentioned on it is uh, in your field or graveyard. So you're able to get basically more material a little bit faster. So once again, Mika is kind of like the go-to card for most people because we're going to be able to banish that card. They're going to be able to chain it. So no free pluses over here. I mean, they do lose out on the card um, uh, being in the graveyard. So again, uh, since they're exorcists, uh, that's the point of them. There's also a uh, trap card over here that makes it so if all monsters you control are exorcists, minimum one, you get to pay 800, target a card your opponent controls are in the graveyard, and you get to banish it. Then you can apply one of these effects. You get to immediately after this effect resolves, exceed someone using a monster uh, you control. And then also if you see someone previously this turn, you get to banish a card your opponent controls. So now we have one of their other boss monsters. This is the exorcists uh, Magnifica over here. So this effect over here, I know it's going real fast, so I have to pause it, but uh, you got to use the above materials, but of course you can go for other ways to summon it. But uh, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase, and once per turn has quick effect, you detach a material from this card, banish a card your opponent controls. And then when your opponent activates a card or effect as a quick effect, you can uh, return a exceed monster, attach this card that you own to the extra deck, then you can just special summon that monster from the extra deck using this face up card you control as material. So it's kind of like swapping the exceeds so you have like extra material essentially. Uh, from other cards. So it's kind of cool that you can cycle into more things. So now we have the Asophil over here. And um, so it cannot be destroyed by the activated effects of special summon monsters from the graveyard. Again, this is all about like uh, graveyard hate over here for the exorcist. Um, and then you can only use each of the following effects of it once per turn. If this card is exceeds someone using an Exorcist monster's material, you can activate this effect. Neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn. So th the other guy just went ahead and said, okay, you know what? It's a GG over here. Uh, the guy was playing some Thunder uh, prank kids. Uh, so now that you guys have seen it in action, let me go ahead and give you guys quick little deck profiles for both these players. Uh, over here so i'm just gonna mouse over them relatively quick and i'll also include the download one click in the discord but yeah there's two builds big shouts to both those players for the different builds and you can max out on hand traps just because there's not enough like exo sisters like cards at the moment so uh it's going to be a heavy uh trap uh, deck what i mean by traps is usually going to be hand traps but you can see uh this card is really good i mean obviously being able to immediately exceed and then also having that effect of banishing that's really uh great as well i mean imperm basically not a trap but again a lot of people are still Still playing like multiple copies of other back row if you want to um have access to that that's an option as well but anyways that's gonna go wrap it up for the video if you guys enjoyed it drop a like on if you're new or hit subscribe to the bell if you want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh videos in the future take care i'll catch you next one i'm out peace